Hey everyone, so it's really exciting to see people making so much progress on their MP, so I'm really happy about that. Um, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to submit and how to know that you've submitted and how to make sure to do this properly. Um, so one common con source of confusion when you're working on the MP is that uh, regardless of what your, um, when you run the grading task, when you uh, grade your work locally, that doesn't count for anything. That's an estimate. Uh, in order to actually get full credit on the assignment uh, for the early deadline and a final deadline, you also have to push your code to the repository that you set up when you accepted the GitHub Classroom invitation. That's required so that we can grade it. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Um, so at some point, you'll have made some progress on the MP and let's say you've earned some points and I'm just gonna make um, kind of a, a meaningless little edit here so that I can show you the process, right? So, you know, um, uh, let's, let's write actually some good Java doc here. Uh, we'll say filters the list of courses to match the past text, okay? All right, now um, there's this commit button up here uh, and there's also a keyboard shortcut for this as well um, in Android Studio. And this brings up uh, a dialog. This will show you what files you've changed and it provides an opportunity to write a commit message. And those commit messages are pretty useful. This is something that you should get used to putting a little bit of thought into. They don't have to be long. They don't have to be, you know, like a paragraph. Single sentence, two sentences uh, frequently works out fine. Right now, you're the only person who's gonna be reading these, but in the future, your coworkers will read them, your boss will read them. So it's a good idea to start to learn how to write these professionally. Um, and so I'm gonna say, you know, improved filter and documentation, something like that. That's not, and that's fine. That's a perfectly uh, descriptive commit message. Now, a couple important parts here. Down here, um, there's this option to commit and that's the default. However, I would encourage you when you commit, so we're using a version control system called Git. With Git, a commit is a local operation. It actually doesn't send your code back to the repository. So if you're just committing, committing, committing locally, we never get your code and have a chance to grade it. So down here, there's this little radio button and I can also choose to commit and push. I would suggest that you do that pretty much every time. There's no downside to it. The only time you won't be able to do this if you're not connected to the network for some reason, but if you're not connected to the network, it's pretty tough to work on the MP anyway. So, so anyway, so I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna click commit and push. Um, that's gonna finish the commit dialog. Then it brings up this push dialog. I need to finish the push dialog as well. That's what's actually gonna transfer my code back to my, repo my GitHub repository. Once I hit this, uh, now I'm gonna go back to the grading page. Now, grading your code takes a few minutes to the point where I'm gonna start talking a little bit more slowly now to bridge the awkward gap of about a minute that it takes to grade this particular checkpoint. However, you'll notice that as soon as you push, if you're on the grading page in the area where we're showing your scores, you'll see that there's a message display that says that we're working on grading one of uh, your commits. That's all you're gonna see until the grading process completes. For this particular checkpoint, grading's taking about 45 seconds or so. Uh, in the future, might take a little bit longer. Um, depending on how busy our grader is, you might have to wait a little while. Uh, this might not, this might take, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. If you commit right at the deadline, we get a lot of pushes around that time. And so that's a time when, you know, things can slow down a little bit and you might have to wait a little bit longer. So that's another reason to commit and push. Now, as soon as it's done, you'll see that uh, my latest commit is shown at the top. You'll see the comment that I wrote. We may improve this a little bit, add a few things here and there and stuff like that. Um, this shows, uh, this is the commit that I uh, just pushed. Uh, we finished grading it, shows you some timestamps. Now, again, this timestamp, the commit timestamp is meaningless to us. We do not trust these timestamps when it comes to grading. The only uh, timestamp that we care about as far as meeting deadlines and turning in work is this pushed timestamp. You'll see there's information about um, your score on the MP. That includes things like the early deadline points that we only calculate on the server because we only we don't know when you're actually gonna submit things. Uh, so at this point, I haven't met the early deadline and I'm running out of time to do that. Um, now down here, what you'll see, and you can uh, expand this if you want to make this a little bit bigger, is you'll see the grading output that was produced when we graded your submission, this particular uh, commit. And um, 
you know, if things went wrong, there's a little bit of information here about what might have happened. Now, this is not intended to be particularly useful. This is the same output that you'll get from the grader. It's much more helpful to run the test suite directly and to use that. And specifically, I would run one test case at a time while you're iterating and you're working on getting the MP done. Now, this may look a little bit different in the future since we might add some stuff and clean up the view a little bit, but this is kind of the main pieces of information that we want you to see. We want you to see what happened when we ran, uh, when we graded your code. We want uh, you to see the entire sort of overview of the your scores on the assignment, um, your own documentation, which is nice, um, and then these timestamps that we use for, for, for timing things and such like that. Um, all right, so, so let me go back. Let's do this one more time. Um, this time, um, I'll just make, again, kind of a silly change here. If you need to resubmit something for some reason, you can also always make a small change to the documentation or whatever um, in a way that you know doesn't uh, doesn't affect the correctness of your code and resubmit and that's fine. Git won't allow you to push an identical commit. So you can't push the same thing twice, but you can make some sort of silly change to white space or whatever. And that, that's enough to trigger a difference that'll allow you to, to commit again. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna show you what to do if you commit and you forget to push at the same time. So now I'll go up here, I'll hit the commit dialog um, and I'll say, you know, even better filter documentation. Um, now let's just say I hit commit. Now you'll see if I go back here and I'm sitting here waiting, 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 waiting. But nothing is going to happen. We could wait here all night. We could do a little dance, sing a little song. Please use this page, by the way. You know, the number of times I talk to students is like, oh, I didn't know I didn't commit. We built this. This is a non-trivial amount of effort that went into this entire system to help avoid yeah, those kind of mistakes to help avoid, to help prevent you from making those from type of mistakes. There's really no excuse, right? When you commit, you are not done until you see the score you are expecting on this page. There's times when something will go wrong. Like, you know, you'll have forgotten to add a file or, you know, you'll have changed something in the test suites and forgotten to unchange it. And so your score, your official score may not be what you, um, what the grader estimates locally. We do our best. But when we grade your stuff officially, we make sure that, for example, if you've commented out all the test suites, we uncomment them out to make sure that they actually run and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm sitting here waiting, 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 nothing. Now, when you push, it's also possible that you're going to not see anything show up here. The only real reason that that will tend to happen is if your ID.txt is wrong. So that's the thing to check. Open up this file, look at your ID. This is mine. Yeah, please don't use mine. but you know, look at this, double check based on what's on there. Uh, this is how we identify you. So if you get this wrong, the commit kind of just goes into the circular file because we don't know what to do. Okay, so now let's actually push. So like I said, I forgot to push. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to the VCS menu. Um, I'm gonna go down to Git, and then you'll see there's this push dialog. And I can also, there's a keyboard shortcut for this as well. Um, so I open this up, same thing. Uh, I'm gonna hit push. And now when I go back uh, to the page, you'll see that quite quickly this is going to show up. But again, this is to give you a sense that you did the right thing. That message will show up quite quickly. That doesn't necessarily mean it's actively being graded. It just means we know about it and we're going to get to it. Right now, you know, it's 6.30, so we're not right before a deadline. Uh, the weights for grading are, are pretty reasonable. This is probably actually being actively grading right at the moment. Um, and so you won't have to wait too long. But again, you are not done. This doesn't take very long, you know? So, you know, go check Facebook, post something on Instagram, make a cup of coffee, you know, go check the forum and, you know, uh, whatever, you know, review uh, for you know, maybe spend a minute working on that day's homework, whatever. It just doesn't take that long to wait and make sure that you're gonna get the score that you think, right? So sit here, wait until that message goes away, wait until you see whatever you just committed show up uh, with the score that you think that you've earned. And if you, it doesn't show up that way, you'll have to go back and, and, and work with us to improve things. Okay, so these are the instructions for how to commit. This is something that I know that we'll all get good at together over the next few months. Um, uh, like I said, please use this grading page to help you uh, and it's part of your workflow. You are not finished with any part of the MP until you see the score that, that you have earned up on this page. If it's not here, 
It didn't happen. 